Okay, so I just started the uh, footage. Um, I three bet Jack three suited here. Um, I went with the basic strategy of for a big blind play of basically three betting a fairly linear range with the plan of flatting some four bets out of position. Obviously, jamming some uh, a, a reasonable range for jamming, and then also three betting a few hands that I didn't want to flat with, but he was min raising. Uh, and I think Jack three suited fits okay into this group. Uh, I'm still working on my big blind defense play against a min raise because I just haven't really, I've, I've played a lot of heads up, but I feel like this is definitely one area where I haven't really decided exactly what strategy I think is the most profitable against good players, etc. Uh, so I'm still reworking this. I, I was also playing some anti games heads up, and those I was using a completely different big blind strategy. Not completely different because like how how much can it really vary, but um, somewhat different with some good results. But I think that was just me running hot, which I also ran pretty hot in this video. So um, also do that if you can as an instruction. Uh, it always helps when you're hitting some hands versus someone who's going to be putting a lot of pressure on you makes life really, really easy. Uh, so the first hand to really note here is in the uh, bottom left, table number three. Table four, I'm going to min-raise the button, I believe, or make it 2.5x. I think I like 2.5x more with the antis involved. And then uh, c-bat just like an ace-three blank board and with a backdoor flush draw and get a fold. Um, top right, I'm going to three bet ace nine here. I think it's a, these are the type of hands where I'm not sure if I want to put it into my linear three betting range or if I want to just flat them. I think the suit of varieties, you, um, can definitely make an argument for three betting, uh, probably a seven suited. Um, I'm, not, I'm still undecided, probably actually all suited aces against an aggressive opponent because then you can you have those as the option to five bet jam. But uh, with ace nine suited here, I three bet and get four bet, and I hadn't gotten four bet yet by him, and he turned out to be not a frequent four better. So I ended up folding, which I think is okay at the start. I think flatting or jamming there is also completely reasonable. Uh, jamming with the idea that you have like one of the better hands against his value calling range, and you also block some things, etc. And I remember when uh, I, was, I was first starting in poker, and there is someone wrote an article. I don't remember what it was, but it was they basically the idea was the uh, origin of the phrase, but it was suited. And the guy's like, well. In reality, suited only adds like 2.4% or something to your hand of value. And But once started people people started playing like really aggressive online and they started playing PLO, everyone realized how big of a deal 2.4% actually was. So it went from like this joke of it's it was suited to like, oh, well, actually, I, I really need that 2.4%. It's going to really help me out a bunch. So it was kind of a funny... Uh, bell curve of how people reacted to that. Uh, so here in the bottom left is the actual hand I want to talk about. It's I check back uh, queen hot or uh, top pair for fairly obviously reasons I don't have to get, really get into. Just pot control, uh, checking back in order to also induce. Um, but the idea here is it goes a bit further when you're playing someone really good, uh, which like if this guy ends up like not being really good. Oh well, but it never really hurts to go into an assumption that playing a guy, thinking he's going to be pr uh, playing well, and then if he proves you wrong, great. If not, whatever. Uh, so I uh, check back here, and then when I bet this turn, like a lot of great things can happen on the turn. Any heart, I can bet call on on the turn, which is great because he's going to have a huge incentive to turn uh, a lot of his range into a check raising range on this turn because he's going to think that I've got a lot of hands that like any hand that's improved by this turn is probably going to be C betting the uh, flop fairly frequently um, if it can call a turn check raise. So I really like to check back here, especially at the backdoor heart. And I expect to get check raised here on the turn actually quite a good amount of the time. I think he could do it fairly light for value as well. 
and he does, and we have a pretty easy call. You could make an argument for 3-betting to like further induce, but I think it's going pretty overboard at this point. 